last barrage a year ago. Ended up with a whale of a countdown battle that you came out just a smidge on the short end of. This year, however, the rest of the field is caught up. It's not easy out there right now, even though you still have a great race car. Yeah, we haven't had a bad year, but it's just after coming off of last year, you know, four world records, seven wins, double up here at Indy, uh, and come into this point of the season and, and we're one win and didn't qualify for Traxxas. So we did win a race, we just did it after they had locked the last of the, the winter slots in there. And then to have to go up against John Force for uh, the fan vote, what the hell? 63% of the votes. You know, everybody always said John Force had more balls than the rest of the funny car drivers combined, but <laughs> it is a lotto draw. He's, he's, he's talking ping pong, folks. He's talking ping pong. That's exactly what I meant. Yeah, I mean, it's still a lotto draw, and we got a shot at it. We didn't want to, to have to rely on this, but this is where we are. I find it interesting that in the now five-year tradition of the tracks of shootout, you've won a couple of them, John's won a couple of them, and yet both of you are locked into this fan vote lottery draw in order to get back in. Hypothetically speaking, we could be guaranteed a first-time winner by the end of today. Right, and you know, Dell, the Fenny World Champ's not in the deal too, and that's how tough Funny Car's been this year. We don't have the car count that we did in 2008. It's easier to qualify now because you don't have 23 cars showing up, but it's probably harder to win now. And Hagen said backstage, you know, this, this uh, countdown deal is probably going to be the toughest ever this year. You can't foresee what's going to happen, but when you look at how everybody's getting their game together and how well so many cars are running. And, and that was the design of the countdown, keep it exciting to the last race for the fans.